I'm Paul Sister J. Hope you're okay today, and uh, hope you are okay, Aaron Ra. And uh, just offering you a scholarly challenge today, and I uh, hope you take up the challenge. I know you're a busy man. I know you have a lot to do, but uh, here's a scholarly challenge to you. I do think that you're going around and uh, defaming Christianity. I don't think you're being honest. I don't think you're being intellectually honest. And I would challenge you to show that you are intellectually honest. Uh, by grappling with some of the questions and the thinking that I'm going to throw at you at this present time. Uh, one of the things that you seem to go around saying is that there is no evidence for the Christian faith, that there is no evidence for God, that Christianity is based purely on faith without a rationale. And I think that is completely dishonest and completely twisting what the Christian faith is all about. You know, and I know, that the Christian faith is based upon Jesus Christ. So if you're really going to debunk Christianity, you have to debunk Christ. And if you're really going to debunk whether there is a God or not, you have to debunk Christ. Because for Christians, the knowledge of God and who God is comes through principally his authority and what Christ says. With that in mind, I'd like to present to you 12 basic scholarly facts from the scholarly community, not based on Christian scholars, but on skeptical scholars, scholars that are skeptical of the Christian faith, skeptical about Jesus. And there are 12 facts, Aaron Ra, that I want to present to you. <coughs> if Skype goes, forgive me, uh, someone's trying to contact me. <coughs> Those 12 facts are this. Number one, that Jesus died by crucifixion. Number two, Jesus was buried. Number three, that the disciples, uh, after Jesus' death, were discouraged. And number, th number four, the tomb was empty. Number five, uh, the disciples of Jesus had experiences of Jesus. Number six, the disciples were transformed from doubters to proclaimers. And number seven, the resurrections of Jesus uh, became the center of preaching in the early church. Number eight, the, resu re the resurrection message was preached in Jerusalem. Number nine, the preaching of the resurrection gave birth to the early church. And number ten, Sunday became the primary day of worship for the early church instead of Saturday. Number eleven, James, uh, the brother of Jesus, was converted and believed from skepticism to belief. And number twelve, the apostle Paul became a believer. Now, Aaron Ra, what position do you take on those 12 facts? You could take the mythological position, but if you do, there are a number of facts here that cannot be disputed. He did die on a cross. It, most scholars believe this, even the skeptical scholars. The resurrection of Christ was preached in the early church. There are these facts that you can't just bounce off and say it was myth. You could say it was the swoon theory or that Jesus just just passed out when he was on the cross. But again, the majority of scholars, skeptical, say that Jesus did die on a cross, i.e., in brackets, die. So you see, whatever theory you take, it doesn't take into account the facts of these 12 facts. But if you believe that Jesus rose from the dead, it accounts for all the facts before us. Okay? So I'll leave it with you, Aaron Ra. I'll leave you with some scholarly references. I ask you to uh, give a video response, a scholarly response. If you fail to give a res scholarly response, at least give an opportunity of having a debate with you on whether Jesus rose from the dead. I've offered you the challenge. Now it's up to you to take the challenge. If you fail to take the challenge, I understand you're a busy man, but I also understand you're intellectually dishonest. Thank you for listening, and God bless you.